Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I am going to be your host for this video, Dan Joe McCraps, and today we have even more Armored Core Nexus for you guys. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm... Uh, this is a different recording session, feeling a little bit under the weather, but um, it's alright, it's alright. Got a piping hot uh, mug of green tea with lemon over here. Took a, took a little aspirin earlier, and um, I think it's going to be good. We're going to be okay. So anyways, um, we're back here once again uh, with our full energy weapon loadout. Uh, AC performance is starting to look much better. We got some good optional parts here. Increasing attack weapon power, reload time, and reducing energy weapon firing consumption. Jizz. Wow, that's hot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, am I sexually aroused by giant robots? A little bit, but um, no, I was actually resting my, uh, my mug of tea on my knee for a second there, and uh, it felt like it was starting to burn the skin, and I was like, oh geez. It felt really nice for a second though, because... If you guys have been here before, you might have heard me talk about my uh, my knees that are like totally shot. Uh, I mean, they work sometimes, um, but for the most part, they hurt. I mean, they do. They hurt every day, but. green tea just cooled off enough to where I can sip it. Hmm. Ah. So good. Okay, maybe not. That's really hot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um, so back to my Armored Core Nexus. 100% uh, playthrough slash walkthrough, um, we are going to be getting every hidden part in the game, hopefully as we go. I'll probably have to uh, double back for some of these, in fact I'm almost positive I will because I think I already missed one, because it was a mission that I... Uh, couldn't, couldn't do because I had to pick between a couple. I think, anyway. Uh, no, we got the one in the first mission. We got the Jit... the Jite... the Jitan? The Yit... Yit... Yitan? Uh, for the missile performance test. Uh, we got the special forces removal one. Oh yeah, the weird one that took me like a whole episode to find. Uh, the one that was in the in the wall essentially in the city. Uh, the next one is for eliminate VIP. Why does that have an asterisk? is the supposed rare part, but you can get it again once you beat the game. Okay, so you have the chance to get it twice. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, thanks to Chad Ghostel, who uh, made the hidden parts walk through. Um... 
posted it on neoseeker.com 18 years ago. Wait, no, no, that can't be right. This game came out in 2004. Oh. Also posted in 2004. Cool. Dude was on it. Same year it came out. Which is funny, because in the PS2 era, like, the internet was kind of in its infancy. So, honestly, I'm kind of surprised it's on NeoSeeker and not, like, GeoCities or Angel Fire, one of those old websites that I don't think anybody uses anymore. Granted, I don't think anybody uses NeoSeeker anymore, but... I mean, it's there. It's still there, so... Let's go ahead and do this next mission, Eliminate Navis Security. I... crap. I do. I, I definitely do that. <laughs> uh, um, okay, this is problematic. Because... What I'm going to have to do... Uh, it's problematic because I'm broke. And it's also problematic because I'm going to need a better FCS. So let's go ahead and sell the one that I'm using. Hopefully that'll be enough to get a different one. 58 grand. Probably not. I could sell my arms, I guess. Hundred and fifty K, holy shit, dude. Hundred and twenty K. You know what? To avoid selling like buying and selling too much. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's a flat rate when you sell used equipment, and I think it's ten percent less, I wanna say. So I'm not gonna go with this one because yeah, that would be 15,000 credits lost. Which, again, is not the worst ever. Yeah, I think I'll just have to go with the cheap one. Although the Volute 2 is pretty good for lock range. That might be enough. I mean, max lock range is 604. You know what? I'm just gonna go with this one. I mean, like, they try to trip you up in this mission. Um. by uh, throwing a lot of smaller enemies at you. But yeah, having sniper range is gonna be really good. Uh, let's see, I might wanna unequip my left-handed weapon as well for now. I'm not gonna sell it, I'm just gonna unequip it. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, man. I know I've mentioned this like a couple times before, but man, do I ever love the soundtrack for this game. So, so good. I don't even know, I don't even know who the composer was for it, but dug in pretty well here. Watch your back when you get on the ground. I should look that up. All units, we hold 
here. Main system. Engaging okay. combat. Take out the MTs. They're using ECMs. Watch yourself. Oh, they're trying. I'm gonna be ignoring most of the small dudes. Yeah, that's definitely him. Let's see if I can do this. It's all of them, right? Objective achieved. Hell yeah. Switch to normal mode. What's up, dog? Yeah. Freaking rocked it. I mean, I'm gonna probably have to pay a pretty good amount for repairs, but. Eh, eight grand, that's not bad. <sighs> I mean, the best part about using energy weapons is not paying for ammunition. Because that can get real expensive. Ooh, new Kisaragi parts. Arms, FCS, generator, radiator, inside, dam. Extension, back unit, army unit. Wow. 17 parts. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Weapons pod performance test. Client is use? The hell? I have no idea who that even is. Attack research facility, okay. I probably have to choose between one of those. You know what, let's go ahead and do... Sell that FCS that I bought. They did say they have a new generator, so maybe I will see, because I like Kisaragi generators. I mean, the best one is made by Mirage, but I don't think we have access to it yet. No, we do. It's just really expensive. Dude, only 400... Oh, the cap is terrible. It's only 13,000. Oh, I have access to the Magnolia. The Magnolia is straight up my favorite generator. Like, all round. Super good. High energy output. Pretty low cap, but decent. Only 500 pounds. An emergency cap of 5,000, which is great. I mean, the Orchid is amazing, but... It's freaking heavy. And expensive, so... Yeah, I'm gonna buy the Magnolia. How much can I get for the Fudo? 58 grand. That's pretty good. It's like most of the cost. Let's 
Let's go ahead and buy that shit. I think you can tune the capacity on it. To be 31,000, that's so much better. It's 44k though. I'm gonna wait on that. Oh, it's the really good horizontal one. Damn it, that's expensive. So good. You know, I'm gonna buy back the cheaper horizontal one. 65k, that's not bad at all. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have access. To... Do they say they have a core now? No, they don't. Oh, there's the dual laser blade arms. Man, those are good. I mean, if you're only using your back weapons, they're good. Especially if you pair it with the laser blade uh, power increase. Um, oh, damn. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Energy drain is kind of high, but 15,000 is not that much. Or 1,500 is not that much. Wait a minute, but it has similar specs. Oh, the forced cooling is way better. Don't you know? Energy drain is actually lower. Huh. Not sure what radiator I'm using. Ooh, we have access to the micro missiles. Dude, those are good. I mean, they're expensive, like as hell, like 315, but. Like later in the game, if you just need like missiles for certain things, like, wow, forget about it. Oh, the Hydra. Also expensive, but good. Ooh, damn. Oh, okay, gotcha. Do we have access to like the super powerful one? No, we don't. Wow, the large rockets are only 345? Jeez. That is not as bad as what I was expecting. Linear gun. Can't even remember what that is. Ooh, I remember these guys. Ooh, I remember that dude too. Shadow. This is such a solid rifle. I use that one a lot later on in the game. Uh, Phantom. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a time traveler. I'm just saying typically I use... I use uh, that rifle a lot later in the game. Uh, just to clarify, um, rock 
three. We got the demon, the hollow. It's a new one. High velocity rounds. Hmm. Ah, spirit, so good. It's expensive though. Not just in cost, but like weight and energy drain are like kind of ridiculous. Uh, the plasma rifle. Oh my goodness, the ogre too. <sighs> Such a good weapon. Mmm. Fujin. This one is probably my favorite laser blade in the game. else right now. The size of the sight lock, this one's finally available, yes. Okay. Let's see, I can get both of these. Wait, what else do I need? Well, I can just buy them now, and if I don't need anything else, I can actually just, like, keep them. This one's actually pretty good. I'm gonna keep that for a while. Here we go, Silent 3, the Shade. Argos 2. Oh, I have exactly the right amount of slots. Definitely better. Definitely, definitely better. Okay, let's go ahead and save the info. Let's go ahead and save over the partial. test and attack research facility. Okay, do either of these have a hidden part? Uh, a lot of them begin with the word attack. mission. Either of these missions. So. Looks like we are good to go. Hot to trot, as they say. That's not the context at all, actually. Um, whose research facility are we attacking? This one's actually pretty cool, though. Uh, fuck. I don't really care about the weapon pod thing. So 
So let me make sure. Actually, we had a little bit left over, right? We had like 20k. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a better head. Uh, I don't like Crest, but this one's pretty good. I mean, it's the only head that has a special computer type. I stand corrected. This one doesn't have shit. Oh, this has all the bells and whistles. Energy drain is 411, but I think our energy... Yeah, we are totally fine on that. CCM is really good on here too. <sighs> Special is better than detailed though. Okay, that sells for 54. What was it? Like 60? I think it's 60k. Yeah, so let's go ahead and sell this one. Oh, versus ECM. Bleh. Versus ECM is actually better on this one, 433. That's good. Cooling is good too. Uh, stability is good. Got auto map, night vision, biosensor. Even radar function, which doesn't really matter, but. Yes, give me that shot. And we have a really good radar already. So, which also has a biosensor, which is great, which is going to be necessary for this mission. For CCM of 281. So, how are we doing on total versus CCM? 949, that is so good. So I'm going to go ahead and save again, because um, I always like to save before heading out on a mission. It's not like necessary, but definitely good. And by the way, shout outs to Sony for making their memory cards freaking rock solid. 20 years later and they still work. It's pretty good for storage. Of course, I think they're flash memory. So, you know. Research cultivation tanks. It's weird that they do the research on these bioweapons and they hire mercenaries to destroy them. Oh, maybe they're constantly running out of funding and they're doing it for like insurance purposes. Wait, you hired two ACs for this? Do I have to take out an AC? Apparently. You guys didn't say anything about this. Not anymore, he's not. Oh, really? Close range is recommended? You sure about that? Still, that's really cool. Had to turn up the backlight to see a little bit. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's going to be easier to see in the capture because I'm using that image correction stuff, but, um... Wow. Some, uh, pretty detailed info there. Okay, so I gotta take the elevator in the middle. Yeah. 
Although my pulse rifle is almost out of ammo. Oh shit, it's overheating in here. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh yeah, these things explode on contact, I forgot about that. I like my radiator is working though. Staying at around 187, yeah, 187 degrees Celsius, holy shit. Or centigrade. That is a lot of heat. Oh. Oh, there's four on this side and four on that side. That's pretty straightforward. not let these things touch me. Are they all grouped up by the door? That sucks. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Things aren't very fast, thankfully. Shit. Four targets remain. Yeah, if you don't have like good enough cooling, your AC is gonna burn up in this mission. shots with the laser cannon. Okay, pulse rifle is out. Ooh, yes. targets. Okay, gonna jump. Target destruction confirmed. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Fuck yeah, dog. Dash wish up, homie. Hmm. Ah, oh, tea is good. Damn. Kisaragi and Navis are... Ooh, that's not good. And we got access to, what, five missions? Ooh, an arena fight for 116,000? That's a hell of a reward. Eliminate VIP, that's a mission for a uh, special part. A nighttime combat exercise. No data, which typically means it's a warlord that's hiring you. I mean in this game. The 
client is a terrorist. Wow. Wait, how are they holding it in Raven's Ark then? Oh, we have five missions. Wait, no, because there's two here. Yeah, I meant four, but yeah, we have five. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the arena fight, but I don't know... that's going to make some of the missions disappear. How expensive was that FCS that I wanted? afford that now. However, I am going to want to use the Lamia instead of the Garyon. So I'll see if I have enough left over. Um, for 58k so 158 will be enough right 145 yeah it will all right Probably gonna be the FCS that I'm gonna stick with for the rest of the game. Well, except for when I need like a sniper loadout kind of thing. Three out of ten thousand, that's pretty good. something different though for my arm weapons you know what? it should be fine let's go into system save the info memory card slot one uh yep right here i mean i might still be outclassed We'll see how it works. Go to you, Beth. Thermal stress inducing weapons. Combat is limited to close range due to the pilot's preferred weapon loadout. Wait, he's rank 14. What rank am I? Why is this even available, then? He's 10 ranks higher than me. Alright. Alright, let me see which one of these... Which of these missions... Mission or missions has, uh, hidden parts. Okay, capture filtration plant. Eliminate VIP. Oh, this is the one. This one does have a uh, hidden part. But it's a mission completion bonus, so 
Nighttime combat exercise. None of these other missions have a hidden part. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, and we're at time, actually. So, uh, I'm going to do this arena fight real quick. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Uh, then we'll end the episode. So. I should be able to outpower him. I mean, I've got a really good defense, so... Holy shit, that's a lot. Power. I want to see what he was using, so I'm going to view the replay from his perspective. I think those spread shots... Was some kind of slug gun or something? Or spread bazooka, probably? Okay, dual rockets. Dual rockets, really? Huh. tried to induce thermal stress on me, but that's not the way it worked out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I got a hundred and something thousand for that? 116k, yeah. Man. Okay, they're all still available. That's good. Alright, cool. Well, thank you guys once again for stopping by the Farts and Crap Show. I've been your host for this video, Danjo McCraps, and uh 12 sorties, 12 successes. Ranking information only went up by one, even though I had just defeated a guy <laughs> defeated a guy that was ranked 10 spots higher than me. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, this game also has a versus mode, in case you guys were wondering. Um, I might do some of that in the future, like once I have like a clear game save or whatever, we have access to like everything. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, just like we do, I'd probably set it up like, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out in the future, but if that's something you guys would like to see, um, I would probably do some versus matches with probably Seth 
more than likely. Um, or Kate? Kate? Kate might enjoy it? I don't know. Depends if uh, either of them are interested. But I know the game also supports LAN system link. So I don't know, I might try to do that. We'd have to get a second PS2, but I've been planning on doing that anyway. So, uh, I mean, that would be hard to watch though. Because it'd have two different video feeds. So I'd have to get a second capture card too. I think it supports split screen versus. Pretty sure. But, um. Yeah, this has been part five, I want to say. Yeah, it's been part five Armored Core Nexus. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. Many blessings on your journey. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one for part six. Have a beautiful day. I think I already said that. Bye-bye for now.